What's up ladies and gents, Ghost here and today I'm going to be taking a look at air superiority and how it can help improve your piloting skills. So if you're one of those people out there who has stepped into air superiority and you absolutely get your arse handed to you, hopefully I can give you guys a few tips today on how to improve. So first of all, I'd like to say that if you've never tried air superiority, you really need to. It's a great thing to do if you want to warm up whenever I'm going to put on my tryhard pants and get some good footage recorded in the attack jet or the stealth jet. I will usually hop in air superiority just to warm up my fingers, you know, get my speed control down and get my aiming on target. So tip number one, get used to using third person mode. We talked about this in the previous dogfighting tutorial, how useful third person mode can be, but in the case of the stealth jets, you guys will notice that I use third person mode all the time, not only to dogfight, but also to aim and take out targets with. Now the reason for this is because it's just so much easier once you get used to third person mode to actually aim rather than being in first person, and this way you can keep that lovely field of view that you get from being in third person. Now, if you've never used third person before for aiming with, you might want to go in the test range, play around a bit, and just get used to firing the cannons. The way I aim without using an aiming reticle is simple, really. I just imagine that there is an aiming reticle there. I get used to where the bullets from the jet actually go in comparison to the nose of the jet itself, and I simply use that to aim with. It may sound kind of weird at first, but if you guys go and fly around in third person for a couple of rounds of air superiority and use nothing but that, you will get used to it in no time at all. This is something that's so crucial, not just in dogfighting, but especially in a situation where you can have up to 12 jets against you. You can be swarmed by jets, you really want to stay in third person, and you really want to keep on the lowdown on what's actually going on within the round. You need to know if somebody's trying to get on your six, and if you need to start pulling evasive maneuvers. That's much easier to do if you're in third person the whole time rather than first person. So tip number two, choose your engagements wisely. So here's a good example of me doing exactly that. You can see on the air radar there, and that by the way, if you don't know already, should already be your best friend as a jet pilot, that there are three jets here incoming. And I don't know where they're going. Maybe they're heading towards one of the objectives. Maybe they're heading all towards the same enemy uh, that they're all trying to take out. But in any case, I'm not gonna engage the first guy I see here. I'm gonna wait until they all pass by, and I'm gonna get on the six of the last guy who passes. After all, those first two guys who passed in front of me, even though I'm not firing at them, they're not a threat to me because they're not behind me. One thing you really want to be wary of in air superiority is constantly checking behind you. It's not like in a conquest game where if you're on the six of the stealth jet pilot, therefore you know there can't be any stealth jet pilot on your six and you don't have to check air radar except to look out for maybe the attack jet. That is not the case in air superiority. There can be a jet on your six at any time moment and you really need to get used to looking at the air radar if you're going to engage a target and you see somebody breaks off from the pack and tries to get on your six you need to start pulling evasive maneuvers don't just go after the target regardless because you will die so tip number three is to try and fight in mid to low altitudes this is mainly because of the stupid altitude bug that is still present in the game. Hopefully DICE are going to fix this at least when Dragon's Teeth comes out because this is more prevalent than ever in air superiority. A lot of pilots simply don't know about it, some of them do know about it and decide to exploit it. So if you fly up high in the clouds you're going to end up being in a situation where you can't hit the enemy jet in front of you, you drop down and then somebody gets on your six and as soon as you drop below that all important altitude level you end up being killed. There's nothing more annoying than that at the moment and there's really not a whole lot that we can do about it so i would really recommend flying at mid to low altitudes on top of that you're going to be able to take advantage of some of the terrain now on silk road there really isn't any terrain in order to dodge behind and weave in and out of but if you're playing on a map like Dragon's Pass, for example, you can often use the peaks there to your advantage. If you're in a dogfight and you're trying to shake a tail, you can try weaving around those, going down, dropping down altitude, flying along the rivers, try to lose your target that way and even make him maybe crash into one of those peaks himself. And the last tip for today is if you're smoking, get the hell away from the battle. Seriously. 
if you're smoking, you've been shot by the enemy jet, you're on 50 health or whatever, and you can see there is obvious black smoke coming out of the back of your jet, you really need to get the hell out of there. Don't stick around and try and take out whichever target you have decided must absolutely die at that very moment. Just get out of there because you're going to be such an obvious target. If there is 12 enemy jets and you can see all of them and one of them is smoking, more often than not, people are going to go for that guy because he's a very obvious target and he's obviously easy prey. So those are all the tips for today guys, I really recommend giving air superiority a go if you haven't already. Yes you will die a lot, people are going to ram into you, people are going to end up hitting you with active radar missiles and you're going to die from those and a lot of the time you're going to be shouting at your computer wondering why the hell you even died. But it is really good training, it's great for getting better in third person mode, it's great for getting better at dogfights and it's also great for warming up. It's still something that I do if I'm going to put on my try hard pants, especially when I'm streaming for example and I want to warm up my speed control, I want to warm up uh, aiming on target then I will often head into a couple of rounds of air superiority just to warm up those things and even though sometimes they can be quite frustrating if you've been playing air superiority and then you jump into conquest where you only have to deal with one stealth jet and one attack jet it just feels like you're going into easy mode seriously it can be so much fun so I really recommend doing that and giving it a go at least. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like down below as it really, really, really does help my videos get noticed. I, I know you guys probably don't think it's much, just hitting the little button down there. But for me, it means a lot. So I would really appreciate that. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.